This lesson shows you how to multiply fractions. In order to multiply fractions, multiply the numerators and denominators. 3 times 2 and 4 times 3 for 6 over 12. Now the numerator and denominator have a common factor of 6, so the product needs to be simplified. Divide the numerator and denominator by 6. And the final answer is 1 half. There's another way to do this. You can simplify first and then multiply. This is called cross canceling. Since there is a 3 in the numerator and denominator, you can divide the numerator and denominator by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1 in the numerator. And 3 divided by 3 is 1 in the denominator. Also, you have even numbers in the numerator and denominator. So in the numerator, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And in the denominator, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now, when you multiply, you get the same answer. If you find this confusing, you don't have to learn to cross cancel, but it sure makes multiplying fractions a lot easier. The first thing to notice about example one is this statement. Three fourths of two thirds is the same as three fourths times two thirds. Always remember, of means multiply. Then for the first method, multiply numerators and denominators for six twelfths. Then simplify, and the product is one half. Over here is the other method, cross cancel, and you get the same answer. For example two, to find the area of a rectangle, you multiply the width and length. We're going to use the standard algorithm, or method, over here. Multiply numerators and denominators for 15 over 36. Then simplify by dividing numerator and denominator by 3 for the product and the area of the rectangle 5 twelfths square inches. Notice that you could have cross cancelled, dividing numerator and denominator by 3 for 5 twelfths. Now pause this video and do the guided practice on page 740. For the guided practice, multiply numerators and denominators for 1 14th. And be sure to answer this question. Does the order matter when you multiply? Will you get the same answer? This lesson showed you how to multiply fractions. And this lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.